Ah, oh, man. I remember when we got the call that Pac got shot. And, and I froze, I stuck, like, what? Like, I, because we had just went through this in New York. For the second time in two years, a prominent rap artist has been shot and badly wounded. Tupac Shakur is in critical condition in the Las Vegas hospital tonight. Shakur was shot four times in the chest. I don't know the details of how the incident went, but I remember after the fight. I come in the room, and he like, I just knocked this nigga out. And he took off the button-up orange shirt and threw on a jersey and then went back downstairs telling me and Katata, y'all stay in the room. So we really pissed off about it because we didn't understand that these West Coast people take this gang shit real serious. I don't even think Pac understood it. You know, one of the worst things that you could do on the street is slap somebody or stomp somebody. That's an act of pure humiliation. You don't do it. And I think that Orlando Anderson's mobbed up and they went on the hunt. And there was enough Crips there and enough eyes where they were able to get lucky and see Tupac at that light. That last photo of him in that car, that just breaks my heart, because I wonder if he knew. The rap star came to Las Vegas to see a Tyson Selden fight on Saturday. Afterwards, he was going out to the 662 Club with some friends. When a gunman pulled up alongside in a Cadillac and opened fire, Shakur took four bullets. And that was that. And then let's say an hour later, me and Kadada be in the cab going to the hospital. I'm hoping that when I see Pop, that this is like a New York shooting, that he's coherent, that he's walking around the room, right? He's, he's Pop, you know? But when we got to the room, this is when I knew that this was sick. It was totally different. He was connected to all these tools up his nose and his mouth, arms, everything. The machine is going off. He is severely injured internally. He has multiple gunshot wounds to the chest. He is not sitting up and he is not talking. At that point, I wanted to make sure that Kadana was all right, because it was just me and her there. She's fucked up. Me, I'm fucked up, but I'm like the next of kin at the hospital. So we called my aunt Fanny, and I'm like, Pop's gonna have a hard time. If he's gonna make it, he gonna have to fight real, real hard. I found out about it when I was in Atlanta. I took the first slaying that I could get. But that period from the time you get the news and you're trying to get to your loved one is an incredibly long, horrible period of time and I think my mind wanted to just go into shutdown and not accept it I was in a fog I didn't understand I understood nothing the next day once everyone came to the hospital it became a whole new hysteria. My mom came, and I was relieved. I didn't think it would be so many people. So that was disconcerting for me. He was in a medically induced coma. He lost the lung when his ring finger was shot off. The first thing that go through me when I see him, I can remember this, is that I thought of my mother when she was on life support. I had to give the consent, take her off life support. But then I'm listening to what people are saying, that he'll, be, you know, people have done this before, he'll be fine. We're on a constant prayer vigil. We are praying that God will spare his life. He helped Jesse Jackson and his mama was in the hallway. His mama let me in there. We didn't talk the last day and a half before he got shot. So imagine how I felt when I go to the hospital and we ain't right. The Feeney pulled me to the side and said some encouraging words as far as, get your spirit right, nigga. He used to seeing you up. I'm going there like the puppy dog, going there like Snoop Dogg. But I went there like, what's up, nigga? And I know he couldn't hear me, but my spirit was talking to him. What's up, my nigga? What's happening? I was talking to his spirit. I want to apologize, nigga, for making you mad the other day. That's a different kind of feeling, man. When it's one of your friends, 